Indications for use of a laryngeal mask would be to establish an airway where difficulty where there's been difficulty with non-invasive support. Also to secure an established airway for continued support. Today I'm going to demonstrate insertion of an eye gel. Eye gels come in a case similar to this. As you can see nice and clearly there's a size one. You open the case and inside this is your eye gel. Prior to insertion you need to lubricate the eye gel. You can place some lubricant on the cradle of the eye gel and then you want to lubricate both the sides and the back and the tip but you do not want to occlude the lumen. For insertion you will need a laryngoscope and that's to control the tongue and you may want to have a large bore suction catheter or a yanker sucker available to remove any particulate that is in the back of the oropharynx, for example, meconium, bloody clot, or a pharynx. You can insert the laryngoscope into the baby's mouth holding down the tongue, holding it over to the side. You can look into the back of the oropharynx and if there's any foreign material there, then you can remove that. For example, your meconium. And then what you want to do is insert your eye gel. Your eye gel will be inserted the way that it will sit in the back of the baby's mouth. The tip of the eye gel should sit at the proximal part of the trachea. Once inserted, you can attach your tea piece or self-inflating bag and continue with either inflation breaths or ventilation breaths, depending on the baby's clinical condition. You can also secure eye gel with tape around the mouth. This is the end of insertion of a laryngeal mask into a baby's airway. Following on from demonstration of insertion of an eye gel, we now need to discuss correct positioning. If you're getting audible noise or the uh, laryngeal mask feels loose or you're getting insufficient chest wall movement, more than likely that your eye gel or your laryngeal mask isn't in the correct position. When you're inserting the laryngeal mask and you're inflating the cuff, you may get a little pop-up um, as it settles in position above the larynx. A CO2 detector can be used with laryngeal masks and this can give the provider some feedback provided you have got an improved or sustained heart rate. If your laryngeal mask is ill-fitting or not sitting correctly, then you need to remove that.